All right, good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this Wednesday. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Good to see you. Good morning, Boney, Bonnie, Bones. Good to see you all. Robert, Ken, everybody. Lawrence, Michael, Andrea, good to see you all. All right, guys. Well, listen, uh, today's actually going to be a really exciting day with the market. Obviously, there's a lot of earnings coming out, and I think probably think we're getting we're getting a lot of action as of right now uh in the market but you know yesterday we had some killer killer stocks i want to bring those stocks up and we had some great winners uh of some stocks that had some uh big big moves and obviously you see they're starting to tank right now just a very basic nice little short squeeze you know the, the apdn was just off these charts just unbelievable there but we're gonna check them all out and there's a couple of nice ones that are moving right now right now we got that uh lk the uh, Chinese uh, knockoff of Starbucks. It always seems like China's always like knocking off, you know, our, you know, what, what we're doing. She's, a little, you know, what's to me, I look at it as being flattering. It looks like Americans are probably doing something right. Okay. But anyway, there was a couple of them that were really, really nice that are on the list that were on this morning. Want to bring them up. And then we're going to, uh, before we do that, we're going to go through and see what we traded yesterday. All right. But a um, couple of nice little stocks. Just want to talk about what, what some of you did miss. And what to expect. Listen, today is class day, okay? And, you know, one of the big classes we're going to be talking about is, you know, how to get, you know, entries, not only just entries and exits, but how to prepare to get in certain stocks. You know, that we have a lot of people that come to the CTU and they think they want to trade and they, they find out, my God, I didn't realize it. It's moving too fast or whatever. And sometimes they're not. You just that you just really been looking at the wrong way of looking at stocks. But we're gonna go over that in class today. So if you're a student, I know um be, be prepared for that. But let's go over some of the things that did move yesterday for some of you that did well. And you know, I always like to say, you know what? There's always tomorrow. You know, if you miss these big runs, don't worry about it. Stock market's not going out of business. You could always trade them again. So anyway, we had the stock, uh, the SLDB, and you could see it went from $11 all the way down to 280 Now, did we get the short? No, we didn't short it. We went long. So it was a really nice pop right here when it, where it hovered around about 250 ran to about almost close to about $3. It was a very easy, comfortable stock. You know, you could trade several thousand shares of it. Unfortunately, you could see it never really came back. I am putting it back on the watch list because I love bottom fishing. And sometimes you get the CEOs of companies, they like, my God, I got to buy back my stock. It's so damn cheap. You know, I, I you know, I owned it at 13. I got to be drooling here. You know, it's, it's one of the old stockbroker, you know, mentalities of trying to sucker people to buy more shares. But, you know, we want to get suckered into that. But listen, we just try to make a day's pay. AP, uh, uh, APDN. I think it was just absolutely nuts yesterday. This thing just literally ran from $6. Six dollars dollars to 20 i mean where do you get that you know where you get it right here people are like i never seen that before when does that really happen yeah we did a lot of us traded we did pretty well now granted it was a little quick had a pretty little bit of a nasty spread you know which we're going to talk about in class today uh but you know what if you're a little bit more in advance you know what to trade you know what that was a really nice day's pay i know a lot of you guys killed it early on with that one and uh, amrn was another one you bring that one right up here. That one also, another nice winner. Went from 18 to 21. Still a little strong. By the way, just keep in mind that the ADP, uh, the APDN, it's really pretty much a short squeeze. That's why it's down. People are like, well, why is it down, you know, 37%? You think I can't? I don't. Listen, we didn't swing trade it, okay? We day traded it. It's a big difference. Anyway, this one's still pretty strong. This one was really nice. Just kept going up, you know. Remember what I always say in class, to be a good swing trader, you better damn well better know how to day trade first. And if you want to be a good option trader, you pretty damn well better know how to day trade first because it's a movement of the stock that makes either one of those prepare you to jump in first. You know, people always do it the opposite. That's why a lot of people fail. Uh, last one, DPLO was also another nice one. Uh, that one got crushed, came back a little bit. That you know, I listen. I love stocks that get destroyed. I'm gonna keep that one on my watch list. Uh, 
once again, same situation. People think that's going to come back. They'll average down. CVET is another one also that was pretty much probably the best one, the most comfortable one. Had a great little Fausto flag on that one. Nice little trend, you know, and went up. Now, obviously, that party's over. Now, let's talk about what's moving today, all right? Forget about that. That's the past. Let's talk about the present. Uh, Neil just killed it on LK. All right, let's give him a round of applause. Did pretty well on that trade. Made 36 cents and 64 cents. Listen, you made your buck right there. You know what, Neil? Go home. You're done. You did. You finished. Go enjoy it. I mean, I don't know where you're going to go. It's freezing out where we are, but in New York. But uh, that's what it's all about, the pre-market trading and all that. All right. So uh, we, we we know I'm going to talk about uh, – let's talk about LK. Anyway, we're, you guys are on that subject right now. Anyway, why is the stock stopping right now? Okay. You know why? Because I'm looking on my level four screen, and there is a 23, 25,000 shares hovering right around 22. What a coincidence. Guess where it stopped? Right at 22. All right. So you're trying to wonder why is it doing that? That's why you need level four. You know, you know it's amazing. Not not to bore you with this, but I want to go through the watches. But, you know, I got to keep just keep reminding everybody. There are so many people that trade today's market and they still don't realize that they could trade in pre-market. And there is this thing so-called level three trading where you could see all these where you see the institutions where you could see you could see all the high frequency trades and uh, you could see where those orders like you saw we did that big event yesterday with Bookmap and and trade station had that go did you guys enjoy that i know we, a lot of you guys did show up everybody learn a little bit from it it just shows you listen for a brokerage firm to take on a platform like that that you could execute off it, it's just amazing and if you did miss it, it's been recorded. It's going to be on our dashboard right on Cybertrain Versus homepage. All right, guys? So you could go back there and watch it. But anyway, listen, it's all about this. People are like, well, why is it dropping now? It just went to 22. Why is it now to 21.40? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because there's been a seller out there since um, 8 o'clock this morning with, you know, with a gazillion shares, you know. Remember, follow the money. NSYS, another one I'm to throw on the watch list, another one that's moving pretty nicely this morning. The stock took a big hit from 480 all the way down to 270. She's gapped up pretty, really, really nicely, breaking a really big high right here. You can see it right here. Thing is just really gapped up 115%. The stock, um, the stock right here, the uh, the uh, the the NY uh, the NSYS. You should, everyone should have been seeing this thing already starting to make its move right around 8:30. So if you jumped in around 8:30, you're probably up about three, four bucks on it. Uh, you're, you're up about 30, 40 percent on on your money already. APDN. I'm gonna put that one back on my watch list because some of you are. You know, I tried to short it this morning, and my system won't let me short it. My broker. Somebody remember, you can only short what brokerage firms have in inventory. Apparently, my broker ran out of shorts. Look at this thing. Look at that. Woo. Damn it. I tried to short it this morning. I couldn't get the short off. A brokerage firm that I do business with basically gave away all, all their shares. So I don't know if you guys are able to get that short. That thing is phenomenal. Look at that. You guys are killing it on that short. M uh, M L N T. By the way, just for everybody to know, I know we're going to have listeners listen, uh, listening to us. The market even open up yet. It opens up in 15 minutes. Just look at this great action that's going on. So what do we got this one? This another one took a nice little big hit. This one's really getting crushed too. And you know what? If it's long as it's on a pharmaceutical stock, which it is, unfortunately, so I guess it's not coming back. Uh, let's see if it holds support levels here. It looks like it's testing a major support level. If it breaks it, that one's gone. HMY, another one. Remember this stock from the blast from the past? We did pretty well with this one too. But a nice little cheap little stock. This is a great level one stock for all you beginner traders. So if you're a beginner, uh, this might be up your alley. You know what? I really like this one too. This is actually, I put a star next to it. I like this one because this might be a great short. This stock has been on a big rally since October from 850 to 1220. Look at that. It's down to 1120. A lot of room there for a short. It breaks that page of support levels right there. The stock's going to tank. I'm just going to look on my level four quotes right here. And uh, I had it on my level four. 
there's there's a there's a fourteen thousand share buyer right around here, but there's a there's been a that okay so eleven is a major support level. There's a se almost seventy thousand shares that can be bought. Um, guy's been out there uh, shoot since the since the market opened. Okay, since the market's open, so let's keep an eye on that eleven eleven dollar price level right there. Okay, looks like it's trying to test it. Didn't have test it. Got to eleven ten. There's a thirteen thousand share buyer, and there's a nine twenty thousand share buyer right here. Some big buyers, but there's a major buyer at eleven. If it, um, I, I might be a buyer there. Okay, I want to keep an eye on that. SLDB, another one made the watch list right here. Uh, nice little cheapy. Why do I like this stock so much? Because we talked about it earlier. It's one of the stocks that got crushed yesterday. Maybe you'll get some. Uh, maybe get people starting to average average down. So we got that one, and these are all from yesterday: the AMRN and the uh, the DPLO. All right. Anything we're missing that I did not call out? Anything else? Uh, all right. So listen, we got a big list here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Typically normal, going into the heart of the best times of the year to trade. And you know what? Guys, got to hit up pretty big because today is the 13th. And, you know, Thanksgiving's um, less, a little more than two weeks away. So it's going to get a little bit slow. Biggest travel day of the year. So I'm, I'm expecting not to be an exciting one right around the 27th. Might even go into the 26th. Uh, but you never know. Some people like to just close out of their positions. You get a lot of good volatility. And also, don't forget, because it's going to be coming up Black Friday, I hope everyone's prepared because we always have a lot of, uh, a lot of good uh, goodies to give away for all of you. All right, guys, listen, good luck today. Happy trading. Congratulations for yesterday. If you missed out on yesterday, don't, no big deal. Every day is a new adventure at Cyber Trade University. You got a lot of good stocks. You got a lot of, so uh, a lot of things that are going on. We'll give everybody the link for that video of TradeStation and Level 4 with Bookmap. And like I said, watch it if you missed it. And then most importantly, make sure you're in class. Remember, make your money and run, okay? This is not a full-time job. I don't know why people are here all day. You know, maybe you, got, maybe you just like the action. Maybe you just like the fun. Maybe you're just a great trader. But overall, if you're a beginner, just make your money, run, and go to class. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading today, okay?